let's talk about my favorite fall bag. Welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Sophia and you tuned in to Simply Styles Lux. If you're new, hello, welcome, thank you for tuning in. Today's video, I'm going to talk about my favorite fall bag and that is the YSL suede puffer bag. This is size small. I purchased this a few years ago and I still love it as much today as I did when I first received it. It is such a beautiful luxurious bag and I love that it's in suede. There are some concerns that suede will rub off and not be as plush as it once was. However, if you take care of it and not set it down on absolutely everything and just watch out for any color transfer, you would be just fine in purchasing this bag if you are interested. So I'm going to go through the features of this bag, wear and tear, uh, mod shots and the reasons why I love this bag and any cons that I have. We are going to also put in a few items in this bag so I can wear it. It does come with beautiful, shiny, antique uh, gold hardware. The uh, chain itself is pretty thick and hefty. It comes with the two leather strap uh, so that it doesn't dig into your shoulder when you wear it. So I love that feature. It has the monogram logo at the front here. And I love the bag that it's, you know, kind of understated, uh, but it's fun. This is a fun bag and I love the gushiness and the, and the softness of this bag. It just makes me want to just like cuddle with it. <laughs> It's such an awesome bag. I absolutely love it. It's really, really cute. And I love the way it, it helps a basic outfit of mine uh, be elevated uh, with this bag. So the color of this bag is now called Cinnamon on the YSL website. To be honest, I don't remember what it was called way back when, but now it's Cinnamon. Uh, for all I know, it could have been Cinnamon for, uh, as well. But anyway, so the dimensions for this bag, all in centimeters, are 29, 17, and 11. So this is a small bag. I do believe they have a larger version of this bag, maybe not in suede or in this particular color, but they do have other colors and in the leather uh, in a bigger bag. So the strap length, when it's double up like so, it's 28 centimeters. But if you want to wear it as a crossbody, the length 52 centimeters long. So this is a perfect um, length for a crossbody, and I will show you how it looks on my particular body frame being 5'4. Made in Italy, this is catskin leather. It is puffer, it's pretty awesome. I don't think that the puffer style is necessarily a trendy piece. I think that this will stand the test of time, perhaps not being necessarily a classic piece, but I don't think that this uh, puffer style will go away anytime soon. And, you know, I think it will stay with us for, for many, many years to come. Uh, because I absolutely love it and I know that uh, you guys love it as well. It comes with a snap closure and it's very easy to open and close and as you can hear it. I love the, the strength of the magnetic closure. It's not too tough where you have to like really struggle to open it up. Um, but it is a pretty good strength. Opening it up to reveal a material lining that is wipeable uh, in one big compartment with a back zipper pocket. 
I can see that since I have this bag in, in the position that it's in, I will start with one of my cotton is that, and I guess it, it can't be helped in this particular situation, is that the bag itself is pretty big on the base here but when you open it up you kind of really have to stretch the bag open because the mouth of the bag is a fairly small um, but it is an envelope style bag um, which can't be helped so that's how it looks on the side it kind of folds up here for the most part uh, the wear and tear has been fantastic i will show you a little uh, corner scuff and I don't know how that happened because I'm very careful when it comes to uh, my most precious uh, bags. So there's a darkened patch there. If you can see that. And I think there's a little bit of a wear, like it's starting to get a little bald in that area um, from the suede. So I will have to clean it up just a bit and just use the suede brush to fluff that up and just hope that that's going to uh, fluff up just a tiny bit and remove that little bit of a darkened spot there. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. So, and I tried so hard, you know, not wearing dark clothes with this. I, I don't set this bag down on like public surfaces. So, I, I don't know how that happened. Mm. Anyway, uh, you know what? This is three years going strong and I think I, I'm doing an excellent job uh, with regards to taking care of this bag because um, if you look closely, there isn't any color transfer on the back of the bag. That's only because I don't wear dark denim with, with this bag. And if I do, I always wear a long cardigan to separate my pants. Uh, from this bag. There isn't any wear on this bag here. It's still, the suede is pretty fluffy still. Um, and I think that's because even though I do wear it, uh, like I, I don't wear this to, to work. Um, so I'm not walking and rubbing against this bag a lot. When I do wear this bag, it's usually out the door, set it aside in my car, and then I go to a, a restaurant and I don't necessarily wear it like this where it keeps on rubbing and rubbing. Uh, if I have a long distance to, to walk with, I try just to kind of hold it like this. I think now that it's been three years, I'm going to try to be a little less meticulous about taking care of this bag and just kind of enjoy it for what it is. So uh, I'm going to uh, enjoy it a little, a little bit more if you understand my meaning. So for the most part, uh, this is the bottom of the bag. Pretty, pretty good, soft. Um, and I think other than that, uh, that corner there that I showed you, there could be some wear on the side here. It's kind of looking a little flat to me here on the side, but yeah, other, other than that, it's pretty good. My favorite features of this bag is obviously the color. Um, in the fall, in the cooler months ahead, I love the suede. I love the texture of, of the suede. It just, you know, brings so much warmth to your outfit and it just makes you feel cozy. I really love the long st strap for a crossbody and I think the size of this bag is a good size to wear as a crossbody. I don't find it to be as bulky uh, on my body frame. I love the way it doubles up for a shoulder bag. That is awesome. I appreciate the leather strap uh, for over the shoulder as opposed to having it all one uh, chain link strap so that it doesn't dig into your shoulder when you're wearing that. It's very comfortable to wear, wonderful. I also love the chain uh, and I love the way it's like antique gold and it's not bright and in your face because this is a very casual bag. So to have a bright gold bag um, chain is wouldn't look good so this is like really awesome and understated a con again is i have been very careful in wearing this bag 
to avoid any color transfer and any balding of the suede so much so that I don't think I've been really enjoying the bag for what it's worth um, and wearing it as I want it to wear it so I think moving forward after this video I'm just going to start wearing it with still being mindful and start wearing this uh, you know not necessarily more aggressively but like you know wear this baby right <laughs> let's go ahead and fill this bag up Starting with uh, the biggest piece, which is my Louis Vuitton Zippy Wallet. I put that in here first, and it's kind of a, a dark abyss in there. And then I'm going to put in my second to largest uh, SLG, which is the mini pochette. Absolutely love it. It's so cute. I'm so glad that I made this purchase when I did. So that goes in here. I have my phone, I have my coins, I carry tissues with me, my Louis Vuitton six key ring holder, my key fobs, the Fendi accordion style card holder. Such a gorgeous piece, just to open it up like so. And I love that red, guys, oh my gosh, what a beautiful piece. Fit that in here as well. There we go. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's very heavy and it's filled to the rim. Um, so it's a bit, a bit bulky, but, uh, those are my essentials. And, uh, those are things that I don't want to leave the house with when I go out. So yeah, that's it. So I'm going to push the camera a little back so that you can see how it looks on my body frame. Oh, wearing it as a shoulder bag. Using it as a shoulder bag like this, it fits a little bit on the longer side for me. And as you can see, it's touching my jeans. I probably wouldn't wear these uh, jeans with this bag unless I change out my sweater and wear a longer cardigan. A crossbody. Yeah, I mean, I, I stuffed it a, little, a lot, but it still looks good in terms of um, the bulkiness. It's not, it doesn't look tremendously bulky I don't know guys what do you think I know I put a little bit more stuff in here but I wanted to show you all the things that uh, can fit and you know maxing the the space capacity in here uh, just to kind of give you an idea of how much can fit in here well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this video was helpful for you. I know that there were a lot of interest in this bag, uh, especially from my video that I posted a while back for one of my reviews for this bag. And uh, people are still watching it and still asking questions. So I absolutely love this bag. I highly recommend it. And if you're on the fence of getting this bag, it's just a matter of your lifestyle, how you intend to wear this bag. And just, you know, for the most part, being careful in how you handle it, especially at the beginning of, uh, you know, the, when you first purchase the bag, you don't want any scuffs on it right from the beginning, right? So I've owned this bag for more than three years now. And really the only issue is that corner spot that I have found. But other than that, it's pretty beautiful. I absolutely love this bag and I will continue to have this probably as my fall favorite for, for all time, really. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to see any other videos and reviews. Leave a comment down below and yeah, I will leave a link to this bag in the description box below. It may not be in this particular color, but I will try to find this particular color because this caramel color is absolutely stunning. It's so delicious. You can't go wrong with this color. Cinnamon color is also very beautiful and it screams uh, fall as well. So anyway, have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.